So today we're presenting a phase 1B study, the results of a clinical trial using Avelumab, a pdl one inhibitor, in patients with metastatic advanced urothelial carcinoma refractory to standard therapy. So we have found that checkpoint inhibitors have activity in urothelial carcinoma, and this is very exciting because it means that we potentially have a new therapy in patients that really had no treatment options in the past. Metastatic urothelial carcinoma is a devastating disease, and there are not a lot of treatment options in the advanced setting. So the possibility of a new treatment being available uh, that works is very exciting. We haven't had a drug approved for the second line setting in bladder cancer for over 30 years by the FDA. So um, we are very excited to have some early data showing that checkpoint inhibitors such as PD-1 or pd one inhibitors have activity shrinking tumor in patients with advanced disease. So this study was um, based on uh, uh, the, um, the knowledge that um, bladder cancer is an immunogenic tumor. It does express pd one which is the target for uh, these checkpoint inhibitors. And um, we already have data from other checkpoint inhibitors showing activity in this disease. So we uh, took patients with advanced metastatic urothelial carcinoma who were refractory to standard therapy, and we treated them with Avelumab, which is an IV infusion given every two, every two weeks, uh, 10 milligrams uh, per kilogram, and um, we followed them uh, for response by RESIST 1.1. And we actually saw that the tumors shrank. We had um, an overall response rate for all comers that were not uh, by pdl one status of about 16%. Um, when we looked at the PDL1 status, we saw that the patients that had PDL1 by expression by our uh, assay using 5% as our cutoff for PDL1 positivity actually had a higher response, 40% if you were PDL1 positive versus 9% if you were PDL1 negative. So this is really interesting uh, in terms of uh, a biomarker for response uh, to this therapy. That doesn't mean necessarily that patients should be stratified by, a bi by this biomarker because patients that were negative still responded. It was 44 patients, but we only did the biomarker, the pdl one status in 32 patients. Well, potentially uh, this could become an agent that we could use uh, in metastatic advanced urothelial carcinoma. And I think right now, we, since, since we are seeing activity in this advanced setting, the next step would be to move it forward in earlier disease states and look at the activity there. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing a maintenance study of Avelumab in patients in the first line setting that receive chemotherapy with standard uh, um, gemcitabine and cisplatinum and respond uh, to therapy. They'll be randomized to receive Avelumab versus no treatment, which is the standard of care right now, to see if there's a change in overall outcome.